Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And today it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Portugal and they take on Czechia. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Vitor Ferreira in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. And the starting 11 for Czechia. Well, I'll always say it, but this 3-5-2 system is only effective if the wing-backs play well. If they can press high up the field and be an attacking threat, they should be a good side to watch today. And they kick off here. Joao Cancelo, Palinha, Bruno Fernandes has it. Rafael Leao. Oh, good looking run. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Cuts it back. And it's teed up for Ronaldo. And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. They're making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Couldn't keep it. Well, I'm not sure about you, Stuart, but I always think it's fascinating to dissect Portugal ahead of a big international tournament. Euro winners back in 2016, beaten finalists in 2004 when they lost against Greece. How about this incarnation of Portugal? How well equipped might they be to win it all? Well, what I like about Portugal is they've got attacking quality all over the front area. When they do get the ball into the final third, they get crosses into the box, they've got players that can attack it, but they're also good defensively. They're well organised, they're difficult to beat, so I think they can have a very good tournament here. So check. Well, they have it again. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. So far. Now can they make something happen? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Silva. Bernardo Silva. Can he put them in front?
Bernardo Silva. Cutting the ball back. Bruno Fernandes. A good and fair challenge. Superb looking pass. This looks interesting. Makes the move to the inside. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Vitor Ferreira. Cristiano Ronaldo. Leal. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. And Portugal with the ball again. Fernandes. Now with Fernandes. Leal. Determined defending. Adam Hrozek. David Jurasek. Tomas Socek. Are there to intercept. Bernardo Silva. Seemingly cannot keep hold of the ball here. Opportunity to take the lead. Oh, keeper dealt with it. And deciding to go short with this one. Ronaldo. Barak has it. Zima. Ladislav Krejci. Jurasek. Schick. So far. And the challenge, crisp and clean. It's a promising move from Portugal. But the danger averted for now. Plenty of support here. Cheek. Just the challenge that was required. Ferreira. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, as they get the ball rolling again. Interesting to see how the second half pans out. Ladislav Krejci. And possession lost, intercepted. Bruno Fernandes has it. Bruno Fernandes. And a very good challenge. Adam Hrozek. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Hrozek. And moving the ball nicely. What a vital intervention. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, not cleared away completely. Ladislav Krejci. 
Well, it did look promising, but no threat in the end. Ronaldo. On the ball, Rafael Leao. Martin Vitik. Ladislav Krejci. Zima. Krejci. Tomasz Socek. Ladislav Krejci. Barak has it. Socek. Now let's see what they can do here. Chance to play it in. Really favours this position. They'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Now the counter attack looks on. Palinha. one for them to pursue oh that's an expert piece of defending just as it was looking threatening plenty of options so far oh that's a super piece of defending Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Could be a chance to break here. Ronaldo Silva. Oh, that is a wonderful piece of challenging. David Zima. Polish. Nicely cut out. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. Liao. Can they forge ahead? Safe pair of hands did his job. Schick. And he has options available. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Intelligent threaded pass here. Surely! Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, this deserves another look. Just see the bend he gets on the ball. That's a great bit of skill and an excellent goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And he's beaten him here. This could finish it, and in all likelihood that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, this is worth seeing again. Just look how Ronaldo goes beyond his man. And this is Ronaldo at his best. He's composed, he shows great technique, and he just smashes it beyond the keeper. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And the referee says that will do it. 
It is a win for Portugal, just what they were hoping for. Stuart, your overall assessment. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, there's a reason why we're highlighting Cristiano Ronaldo. He's been very creative out there, Stuart. Well, I'm not concerned about him missing a few chances. The main thing is he kept on getting into the right areas and he scored a very good goal as well.